So this question starts off by providing a system of inequalities. Um, the question goes on to say which point x, y is a solution to the given system of inequalities in the x, y plane. So there's a couple of ways to do this. I could graph it, actually. Um, it wouldn't be too difficult to graph. Let me just show you how fast I could graph this. All right, so if I graph this, I'm not going to graph it perfectly. Um, y is less than or equal to x plus 7. That makes 7 my y-intercept. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's good enough. And my slope would be positive 1. So I'm going up 1, right 1. So my graph will look something like that. And I know, oh yeah, solid line is good. And it's less than, so I'm shading down. And then for this one, it's y is greater than or equal to negative 2x minus 1. So my y-intercept would be here, negative 1. My slope is down to right one, so it's going to look something like this. And it's greater than, so I'll just cross my lines this way. So everything over here, where these lines are crossing, should be solutions. So now I'm going to use a different color. Where is negative 14, 0? Well, that's way over here somewhere, so that's not the right answer. How about 0, negative 14? Well, that's way down here somewhere, so that's not the right answer. How about 0, 14, up to 14? Well, what was this here? This value was 7. So 0, 14 is way up here, so that's also not inside that overlapping range. How about 14, 0? That's going to be on the x-axis over here, absolutely, definitely in the overlapping range here. So choice D must be the correct answer, and I did that fully visually. Another way to solve this, however, would be to plug in answers. Right, so I can plug in answer choices, and I can take each of these and say, well, if x is negative 14 and y is 0, can I take those values and plug them into both things, and what I get ends up being true. If I do, then that makes it the right answer. We know that we don't, and that's why it's not the right answer. Um, choice D, just to show it to you, we have here that x is 14 and y equals 0. So that means for our first inequality, our y less than or equal to x plus 7, that would turn into 0 is less than or equal to um, 14 plus 7, which is true. And for our second inequality, the y is greater than or equal to negative 2x minus 1. When I plug the numbers in from choice D, I would get 0 is greater than or equal to negative 2 times 14 minus 1, which is negative 28 minus 1 is negative 29, which is also true. So choice D should be the only one that gives me a true statement by plugging both the x and y into both inequalities. I think these are both equally fast, probably. I like the visual better. That's just my own personal preference. But um, yeah, plug-in answers would also work here as a great strategy. So this is technically plug-in picture strategy. So that works as well as plug-in answers.